County Bill 3748, sponsored by Persons O'Donnell, Maynard, and McKeon, requires background check for private gun sales. Assemblyman O'Donnell. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move the bill. Assemblyman O'Donnell moves the bill. Assemblyman Carroll. Thank you. Madam Speaker, if, we, if I may, just a few questions on the bill. Yes, Assemblyman oh, O'Donnell. Do we have to do this after what I just witnessed? He's, he's uh, hiding behind me here. It's a, it's a, do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give? <laughs> <laughs> ahead, don't assume. forget we are the world, Assemblyman. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I must be the only person in the entire Assembly who never actually heard that song. I can assure you, Speaker, we live in different worlds, he and I. If we could uh, just discuss the present way about going to bed, as I understand this proposal, the idea is to get private sales of various and sundry weapons. Is that correct? Correct. Now, if, let's assume, just assume that insanity temporarily grips you and you want to buy my handgun from me. What do you have to do? you got to slow down. I'm sorry, Assemblyman. Go ahead. Let's assume, just assume that you wish to buy my handgun from me. What do you have to do? I want to buy your handgun. I have to show you proof now that I have been fully licensed to buy a handgun. Not only that, you have to have registered that particular Absolutely. gun. Is that not correct? That is correct. How would your bill in any way, shape, or form change that? How would this bill change it? Let me, let me ask you a question. If I were to sell this gun to you and you lived in Pennsylvania, would I be able to directly sell that to you? I don't honestly know. I would not. I would have to send that gun to a registered federal firearms licensee, and then he would do the background check and get it to you. Only I ask you, I ask you this question, what is the difference in me selling it in-state or selling it out-of-state? I think all, that only applies if you did it in the mail. If you did it face-to-face -face in Pennsylvania, I do not believe that requirement applies. Okay, so what if I did it, what if I wanted to do it in the mail here in the state of New Jersey? Same process. Same process, federal firearms? Yep. Not to my knowledge, but I'll, I'll take your word if for you it. Want to sell, first of all, you sell a pistol. You have to first and foremost go through the police chief, get his approval Correct. for it, go through the full background check. What's the difference that been under your proposal? How would anything change? How would anything change? I would get a secondary look at you. What kind of secondary look? I would get a secondary background check. Wouldn't you get that automatically when you went to register the pistol? When you go to register the pistol, you, you come to me, you want to, I'm going to sell you a gun, correct? Well, actually, it's the other way around, but I'll take your gun. Yeah, I don't have any guns, but um, I can arrange it. <laughs> so, you, you come to me, oh, who's buying the gun now? I forgot. Is it, I, I, well, is it you or is it me? Since, since I've got it and you want it. I, I'm sorry? Since, since I've got it and you want to buy it, you'll be the purchaser. I, I want to purchase the gun. I come to right. you with my, my valid purchaser identification. What else right? do you need? What else do I need? Aside from the firearms ID card, what else do you need to buy a pistol in the state of New Jersey, even face-to-face -face and even privately? Oh, I need a driver's license and I need that background check that has already been done and signed off by the, the police chief in, in my city. No, you need an actual, honest to God, uh, registration for the particular pistol you wish to purchase from me before I can give it to you. Okay, and your question? Right, my question is, how would your proposal change that? If I can get that gun done through a... a, a why can't we do it through the federal firearm licensing process? Well, what is the problem with that? The same as selling it out of state. That's, that's, that's the intent here. My question to you is if you've already had to go to the police chief right. and register that gun, which means you have gone through the process of getting a background check right then and there, why do you need anything different? If I've already gone through the process... So let me get this straight. I get my, my ID, and, and as the police director for the city of Bayonne, this is not the process that I'm fully aware of. If I get that ID and I want to buy that gun from you, and I show you that ID, and I've gotten that ID a year ago, are you aware of what has transpired since I've gotten that ID in that year? Unless you have registered the particular pistol you wish to buy, it is my understanding that I may not legally transfer it to you. It's your understanding. Well, then we differ, and, and I don't have a law degree, so I'm going on what was cleared by OLS for me. Well, maybe if, if we have the aid, see if she can offer some, some assistance to you on it. It's my understanding that every single pistol purchase must be individually registered and subject to an individual background check for each individual purchase. Does, does everyone register their pistol? Yes, by definition. If, by unless definition? You're criminal, unless you're a criminal, then in case you don't. Okay. 
So then we're stopping the criminals. Is that what you're saying? Um, I doubt the criminals will be going through this process. That may be... I, I would be, be going through the process, but would be buying way. person to person, would they not? My point is, if I sell you a gun, you want to buy my pistol, you must individually register it, get that registration for, and a permit from your local police department for that very gun. And I cannot transfer it to you without that done, and you will not get that, that, that permit without doing a background check. So my question to you is, given, let's assume for the moment that I'm right in the law. How does your bill change you're that? You're writing the law, or you're right in the law? Both. That's a big assumption. Um, how does it change it? I'm getting a secondary look. I stand by my comments. I get a secondary look. Hey, I have nothing further for this witness. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Assemblyman. Madam Clerk, open the machine. Take a tally. Are all recorded who wish to be recorded and properly recorded? Madam Clerk, close the machine, take a tally. Madam, Sp Madam Speaker, Assembly Bill 3748 has received 45 votes in the affirmative, 28 in the negative, and zero abstention. Assembly Bill 3748, having received 45 votes in the affirmative, 28 votes in the negative, and zero abstentions, I declare the bill passed. Let the bill take the usual course of past bills.